What's up guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to boost your FPS for the best FPS possible in Fortnite Chapter 4 Season 3 for low NPCs. This FPS boost is going to be primarily focused on Fortnite, but it will also work for other games. I would recommend you guys stick around to the end of the video because there's going to be a pretty insane boost and you don't want to miss anything. First thing you're going to want to do is come into your Fortnite settings and put it on performance mode. And you're going to want to put view distance, textures, and meshes all to low. And once you've put all this to low, go ahead and click apply. And you can go ahead and close your game. Secondly, you're going to want to press Windows and search GeForce Experience. Go over and click Drivers and click on Check for Updates. I currently have the latest GeForce Game Ready Driver because I downloaded them yesterday when they were released. So once you have the latest GeForce Game Ready Driver downloaded, go ahead and close GeForce Experience. Third thing you're going to want to go into Settings and go and click on gaming here you're going to want to turn off xbox game bar because that completely tanks your fps if you're on pc especially an nvidia pc just use shadow play it does all the same things without hurting your fps nearly as much and then for Fortnite, you're going to want to go down to game mode and turn game mode on. It's been a debate over the past couple of years whether game mode actually does anything for Fortnite. And recently it's been proven that for Fortnite, having game mode on is actually better. Type in background apps. Go ahead, just turn all of them off. You can still open them up manually, but this is just going to make it so that like freaking Xbox isn't going to be running in the background while you're playing. Because I've had multiple instances where Xbox was running, downloading a game, and I've been getting 200 ping and I haven't had any idea why. So just go ahead and turn all of them off, especially Xbox. And you can go ahead and close your setting. Now for Fortnite, you're gonna to wanna to press Windows R and put in percent local app data percent. Scroll down to find Fortnite game. Go ahead, open that, saved, config, Windows client. Right click on game user settings and make sure read only is unchecked. Go ahead, click on it. And you're gonna to wanna to scroll all the way down to the bottom. Make sure mesh quality is on zero. Make sure that Everything up here is on zero, SG everything. Go ahead, click save, close out. Go ahead and click properties and check read only again. And then once you've done that, just click on apply, click okay, and you can close out. All right, and now navigate to your Google Chrome, click on the three dots in the top right hand corner, go to settings, go over to the left, click on performance. Go ahead and turn on memory saver because it will help free up some of the RAM that Chrome takes up. But once you've done that, go ahead and search hard where turn off use hardware acceleration when available hardware acceleration makes chrome run faster at the expense of fps using some of your gpu and more of your cpu now we're going to do the same thing in both discord and spotify go ahead open up your discord navigate to settings go to game overlay go ahead and turn game overlay off it does the same thing as xbox game power and tanks your fps go ahead and go to advanced and then also once again, turn hardware acceleration off for all the same reasons as in Google Chrome. And you can close Discord, then go ahead and open Spotify. All right, once you're in Spotify, go ahead, click on your profile, go to settings. But we're going to scroll almost all the way down to the bottom, actually all the way down to the bottom where it says compatibility, and turn off enable hardware acceleration. Go ahead and close Spotify, and then on to the next tech. Next up, you're going to want to search power options. Go ahead and just go over to power options. And select high performance since most of you guys watching this are going to be on lower end pcs i'm not going to put the ultimate performance code here playing plugged in will give you the absolute best fps in a lot of cases playing on battery will actually cap you to 30 or 60 fps and if it doesn't it will severely reduce your fps because all your stuff will be in power saver mode even if it's in high performance it will still be conscious of power and trying to save power next up you can right click click on nvidia control panel and you're going to go to adjust image settings with preview select use the advanced 3d image settings and once you're in the manage 3d settings menu go ahead and just copy these settings and once you've copied these settings Click on apply, and then you can go ahead and close the NVIDIA control panel. Then after everything, go ahead and type in Windows R and type percent temp percent. Then you're going to want to scroll all the way down to the bottom and just select absolutely everything. Not only could this free up potential gigabytes off of your C drive, but it's also going to clear everything that's not running anymore off of your C drive, potentially boosting your FPS. As you saw, we potentially had hundreds of files in this folder, and now we just have two that are running. Go ahead, close this, empty your recycle bin, and boom, you're good to go. The next thing you're going to want to do is go ahead, open Epic Games Launcher up. Go ahead, click on Library, three dots. Go ahead and click on Manage. You can click on Verify Files. Verifying files will make sure all your game files are up to date, uninstall any junk, and install anything that you need. So I'm going to go ahead and do that really quick. It will take a couple seconds at max. If you've had crashing issues, this should also hopefully solve those issues. And while that's nipping away, one quick little trick you can do 
is download MSI Afterburner. The link will be below in the description. Go ahead and open it. Click on yes. And what we're doing is we're just going to throw a quick little overclock on here. I've actually taken the time to go through and properly overclock my machine. And this is the overclock I found to be most stable while providing the most FPS possible. You guys, you might not have... You might not have gotten as good of a silicon lottery chip as me. However, I do think for most of you guys, you should be able to get a 50 megahertz on the core and 250 on the memory. And that should give you a nice little 5 to 10 FPS boost. Go ahead and click it. And you can even go ahead, make sure this is unlocked right here. Click on this SD card looking thing and save it to one of your slots. I'll save it to slot 5 since slot 1 is the one I use primarily. And then once you have this applied, you can actually go ahead and click this little windows icon that way msi afterburner will apply the overclock every time you start your system if you want a video of how to in depth get the best overclock for your system go ahead and leave a comment down below and i'll be sure to do that for you guys once that's applied you can just go ahead and minimize msi afterburner it'll close to the tray go back and check on your epic game and if you guys really really want to get the best fps possible you can even take it one step further from verifying the files and completely uninstall fortnite and reinstall it and that will completely clear all of the files and download fresh ones. Alrighty, and once that's done verifying, go ahead and click on the three dots again. I just opened the game. Click on the three dots. Go ahead, click on options. Uninstall DirectX 12 shaders. If you're not going to be playing on DirectX 12, you don't need them. If you plan on switching back and forth like I do, you might want to leave them installed. You are going to want to uninstall high resolution textures. Personally, I cannot notice a difference between high-res textures and no high-res textures. Then again, I also play Fortnite to win and not to be like, oh, look at look at how many pixels are on this leaf. I don't play Fortnite like that. I play Fortnite to win. So go ahead, uninstall those. And uninstall anything else you might have unless obviously you speak one of these languages. And click on apply and it will actually free up some space from your drive. Okay, guys, that's pretty much it for today's video. However, there is one last tip I have. If you guys are going to be playing on a laptop especially with an nvidia gpu you're going to want to connect an external monitor the external monitor oddly enough does boost fps there's a video in the top right about it now but basically what it does is it bypasses nvidia optimus using less cpu and less ram allowing your system to allocate it to the game if you're on a pc you're already bypassing optimus so you're already getting that fps boost so don't worry about it with that said ladies and gents that's it for today's video if you guys found this video informative useful or entertaining in any way shape or form Please drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment so I know that you found this helpful. Yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for me for today, so I'll see you guys next time.